This is Iron Trader. It is Tuesday morning. Hope everybody had a nice, good, long Labor Day weekend. Now it's time to get back to work. Now, the API report will not be today. It will be at Wednesday at uh, 4.30. And then the EIA for crude will be on Thursday at 11 a.m. And for natural gas at 10.30 on Thursday. And then the rig count will be, as usual, on Friday. Okay, this video is for information purposes only. Not a recommendation to buy on the stock about ETF. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Okay, here we have crude oil, your daily and your weekly chart. I want to put up the weekly chart because crude is selling off pretty hard here today, okay? Now, uh, something very strange going on because the Houthis attacked um, a couple of oil tankers, and yet oil is coming off here, okay? So something just doesn't seem all right. It should be just a reverse of that, okay? But now, what we do is we trade by the chart, so we don't care. I'm, I'm still short, and I'm just trying to scalp the long. We've got to see how that's all going to shake out. Now, what we have here is that double top situation, series of lower highs coming all the way and down. Double top here into the 200-day, double top there into the 100-day, double top here into the 200-day, um, uh, and then the series of lower highs here, and now lower lows. Okay, so right now here, crude, you're sitting at uh, 72.13. So now we actually went below this 72.20. Now at our next target here, we're going to be looking for is going to be right here, this 71.67. Uh, That's going to be very, very key. And then what we do is we uh, get below that, you got 71.58 on this candle, and then we're going to have your rig retest here at 71.46. Uh, so that's going to be very, very critical here that this needs to hold. Okay, so this is why I want to show you on a weekly. If this 71.46 uh, does not hold on a closing basis, then what we're going to be doing, we're going to be looking here for the other candles. See, here's that 71.46 level right there, okay? So then what we're going to do is we're going to go right here to the left, and we're going to look at this candle here. So your next target is going to be 70.50, okay? And then we have your next support level is going to be 70.13, and then we'll come down here at 69.28, and then we'll here all the way down to 68.80, and then we have this retest here of 67.71. See this price channel coming all the way across? So we have a lot of good support here underneath, but the key is going to be 71.46. If that's lost, we could venture all the way back, back down here in that 67.71 level, okay? So very, very easy. Okay, now you can see here RSI here. Well, we got it's sitting at 40 here, but that's a lot of ways to go on the, on the downside yet. Uh, right now we have the green just crossed over red. That's a sell signal. That's, that's uh, not looking good. Right here on your weekly chart, your green is below your red. That is not good, and this has plenty of room to run at 39 all the way on down here, okay? So the key level here, just watch right there, that's 71.46. That's just the bottom of that candle. That's the price channel. That's going to be very, very critical here on your weekly chart and on your daily chart, okay? So that's going to be very, very key. Now, say this reverses here. And you said it has a little bit of a uh, run up here. Well, then we just do the opposite, okay? So you're, you come right to the bottom of this candle here. You're looking at that uh, a 72.58 level. Then we can come up to the bottom of this candle. You're looking at 72.83. And then we can go to uh, last week's low on uh, uh, Friday's low, I should say, is uh, 73.36 uh, uh, level. And then we'll come right here to the bottom of here. You're looking at uh, uh, 73.82. And then we have uh, 7405, and then we start running into your big resistant levels. Your 7465, your eight days, very, very key, and your 21 right above that at 7526. Obviously, we can get above that. We can follow our candles up here, but right now, with this series of another lower high and a lower low here, this is looking pretty, pretty ugly, pretty uh, bearish. Now, the key is. Uh, what's going to happen if it comes down to the 71.46? Are we going to make another double bottom? See this? We, we had this nice double bottom. It could go a little bit lower, but you have to close back above that 71.46. So just like right here, we had 71.67, 71.46, okay? That was the double bottom in play. Then the next day, you notice we had a higher uh, 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 low situation inside day, and then we just ran right up nicely. So we got to see if we get another double bottom situation. So never have an opinion. Let's just see how this all shakes out. So if this does sell <coughs> down, your key level is going to be that 71.66. Now, again, if it closes below that, then we just follow these candles here all the way on down until we can get a possible retest of that 67.71. Okay, let's take a look here now at natural gas. 
Okay, here we have natural gas, your daily and your weekly chart. Now, we'll just take a look here on your uh, daily chart. You can see how nice this is. Work it. Okay, so this was that contract roll. You can see where she gapped right on up here, okay? So it gapped up here nicely. And then the preview next day made a higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low. And again today, higher high and higher low. This is very, very good. Just the opposite of what crude is doing, okay? So we had this positive divergence going on here. See, we have this low, okay? Then we had an even lower low, but we had a higher low, positive divergence on your RSI. And now look how nice this is playing out here. Okay, uh, MACD looked at very, very good. The green over your red, that shows momentum there to the upside. Now, let's just take a look at the upside first. The key is going to be right here. It's going to be this 50-day sitting at 2.215. Uh, uh, That's going to be very, very key. Okay, so if we can get above that, then you roughly have 2.23 level, the top of that candle. But what you're really looking for then is this 2.27 which is going to be your 200 SMA. And then above that, you have 2.29. And then we're going to have your retest of your price channel at 2.30, which is basically just the top of that candle. Okay, that's all price channel channels are, are just tops, okay, and bottoms of the candles, which makes life very easy because now you can see the trading range here very, very clearly. See, there's your thing. See that? Very, very nice. Okay, so that's what we're watching today. It's going to be this 50-day. You can get above that. Your big target's going to be that 200-day at 2.27, and then your 100-day, and then your retest there at that 230 uh, level. Now, downside, very, very key here, we have to watch is this 21-day, okay? So now you're looking at um, uh, 2.11, say, uh, 9, so that's that 2.12 level. That's what you're looking at, okay? Now, if that is lost, then we'll come down here to this 8 level, 8-day, roughly at 2.07, okay? So this is what you're trading today, okay? So your bottom is your 21-day, your top is that 50 day, you're trading this range. So we gotta see which way it's gonna break out, okay? So if it breaks out above that 50 day, well then we know where exactly where it's gonna go. Now, if you break below that 21 day, well then we're gonna be looking for this eight day, okay? Now you lose that eight day, I'm gonna come right here, okay? Look at the bottom of that candle, 2.02, .02, and then there's your gap, and then look at the top of this candle, okay? 1.97, there's your fill. Your gap, your fill, then if that's lost, and we come right here, 1.94, okay? And then what we have is you have 1.90, and then your big retest down here, 1.875, okay? But see this right here? We had 1.88, and then you had 1.875. That was your double bottom situation again, okay? Then we just happened to have that contract roll. She jumped up very, very nicely. But today, watch that 50-day, crucial, and then watch that 21-day on the downside. Now, here by Friday, we need to hold this eight day. This is gonna be very, very key. This is that 2.09, that's your eight day. So what we're trying to do is get this eight day to curl right back up here and then take the price right on up. That's what you're looking at if you're a long trader, okay? So 2.09, and if we get above that, then we're looking for that uh, right there, that 2.30, that is going to be your 21 day, which lines up very, very nicely here with your price channel. See that? Very, very nice. Now, again, if we can get that above that, then we can start going to that 50-day, which is a 2.40, and then we can start running all the way on up here. But let's not get too excited about it. By Friday, we want to make sure we hold that 8-day, okay? And then your big resistance is going to be this 21-day at 2.30. Okay, that's what I got for you. And I'll be back here uh, for midday trading. We'll take a look and see what crude oil is doing, what natural gas is doing, and then we'll throw something else in the old mix. And uh, remember, there will be no API report there for crude today. That'll be Wednesday night due to the Labor Day holiday. Okay? Trade what's in front of you. Now what you want.